Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome back to another run on the Champions League mode on FIFA 23. Today we're going to be playing as Benfica. I really wanted to do Benfica this time around because they're in the quarterfinals currently as it stands. But they are trailing their opponents right now. I don't know by the time this video comes out whether or not they'll be eliminated or whatever. But they have a really good chance to go through to the semis. And I really wanted to try Benfica today and see how far I can push them. So anyway, we need to randomise these groups to find out what group we're going to be in. So in 3, 2, 1, boom. And we are in a group with... Where are we? Uh... Oh, we're in a group with Chelsea, Klagenfurt from Austria and Juventus. That's quite a tough group, not going to lie. Benfica do have a very strong team and I'd like to think that I'd be competitive in this match. We are away from home though against Juventus. Benfica versus Juventus away from home for us. Can we pull off a little bit of an upset? I reckon that Benfica could beat Juve in real life. Because Juve are in the... Are they in Europa League? Yeah, they are, aren't they, this time around. So, yeah, I mean, Juve have to be one of the favourites for the Europa League right now. But Benfica are currently in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And having a decent run as it stands. Up to João Mario. Keep pressing. Into the middle to the injured player. He might have to be taken off. Into the box. And yes, we got the volley off. And that is 1-0 to Benfica in the 20th minute. How about that? I didn't actually think that he'd get that volley off. But he did. And that's a great start to this one. Rafa with the goal. And um, yeah, like I said, decent start. Just passed out to the wing. I chipped it into the box. And I just managed to get the strike off in time before I was tackled. Ramos still injured so he's definitely gonna have to come off at half time because he will obviously put the team down a little bit but that's fine oh that was good move by Flahovic Pogba into the middle and they scored I tried to slide in front of that but no and that is a goal Milik has equalized for Juventus into the middle here and to you and yep yeah, that's a nice goal there and that is 2-1 to Benfica and um, how, who is that? Chiquino? Is that how you say it? He scores to make it 2-1. Benfica are back on top. Come on. Get them. Yeah, nice. Good. Tackle. Here we go. Go on through ball there. Yes. It's the 81st minute and Guedes is through on goal. Come on. Yes, that's it. That's over. And Benfica have won here against Juve. And that is brilliant. What a start to this. Away from home, Benfica have done it. And it seems like Benfica, even though I already know that Benfica are good, they seem very strong. They're going forward and the goalkeeper collects. Yep, that's game over. Juve have been beaten here by Benfica by three goals to one. Really good match. And yeah, fantastic start. That's probably... About what I expected from Benfica, considering they're four and a half star team. Our second match is at home to Chelsea. I cannot wait for this match. Playing Chelsea is always a good tie in Champions League football. And of course, we have the Benfica Stadium there. I don't know what it's actually called in real life. But it's so cool to have that when you're doing runs with teams that actually have their proper stadiums and stuff like that. But this is going to be a good match. Chilwell trying to get through here. Benfica not doing so well. Trying to close down that wing play by Chelsea. That's fine though. We got the ball back. Good tackle by Rafa. And now we can press. There's literally no one to close me down over here. And we scored. Yes, Benfica taking the lead at home. And that is 1-0 thanks to Rafa. He just charged straight through. And just tapped it in. Chelsea didn't even have anybody come over to actually stop me. And Benfica have scored. Benfica 1-0 over Chelsea. Chelsea have been a little bit lacklustre at the back. Not really providing the defence that you probably expect Chelsea to do. Or maybe you don't expect Chelsea to play that well. Considering their form in real life. That was a good tackle. And that was a good ball. Can we go for it? Oh, just wide. It looped over Mendy, but just sadly went wide. And it is Lampard. They actually updated it to put Lampard into the game. 
And that is pretty cool, to be fair, that FIFA are, are on top of that. I mean, <laughs> the amount of times that Chelsea have changed their managers in the last, like, six months, well, you'd think that they'd be changing it. Just imagine if it was Watford. The amount of managers that Watford go through is insane. Oh, here comes Chelsea and Chilwell has found his way through and that's a tap-in. Yeah, that is. And who has scored that? Was it Mount or was it Havertz? Uh, it was Mason Mount with the goal and it is 1-1. Mount scores away from home and um, I'm a bit disappointed that we let ourselves down like that. Can Lampard's Chelsea get the winner here? I don't think there's enough time with about one second left of normal time plus two minutes of added. I think Chelsea have come away here with a draw, which is quite good for them away from home. I think any side would take that away from home at Benfica, but hang on. What's going on? Oh, I was about to say they could have got a winner there, but no. So that ended as a draw. That's not too bad. I felt like it was a little bit of a squandered opportunity to get six points. But that's fine. We've got to play the small team from Austria next. So we're going to play the highlights against this Austria Klagenfurt or however they're called. Should be a routine victory. Keep running. Go on. No, he blocked it. That was a easily a scorable chance. Here's another chance here in the 46th minute. Benfica solo run. We have to score, right? He's a lot faster. Than him. And we got it. Yes, we scored. There we go. And they have a red card as well. They had a man sent off. Obviously, it didn't show it. But we scored. And that's Rafa. They held on for about 45 minutes or so. So that's quite impressive for that small team from Austria. But, of course, Benfica are a bit of a giant in this group. Oh, look at that. What a ball. There's Ramos going through. Can he finish it off? He has finished it. It's 2-0. That's just too easy, isn't it? We're too fast, too strong, and just better at shooting. And I think that's going to be it. I think there's no more highlights. So we beat this team only 2-0. So maybe put a bit more respect on their name, considering that they actually only held me to a 2-0. That's not bad, especially when they're away from home. All right, then. So this is the group. And it's looking good for Benfica. Three games played, seven points. We only dropped points against Chelsea. Um, if we win against Klagenfurt again, we'll have 10 points and we'll pretty much be up there in the top two spots. One of these bigger sides are going to have to fall to the wayside to the Europa League. And I'm hoping it's either, obviously, Juve or Chelsea. We're playing the highlights again against Klagenfurt. There's no real point in playing the, ma the match like whole, if you know what I mean, because, you know, like it's a smaller team. But they have a big stadium. So maybe I'm underestimating this Klagenfurt side a little bit. I bet you someone from that region will come into the channel and be like, hang on, like this team's actually really good in real life. Ramos. He's got it. And yeah, there we go. That's 1-0 to Benfica. Took us a little while. Benfica on the score sheet. Nice stuff there. I just really want to get into the knockout rounds as quick as possible. I feel like I can do it with Benfica. I feel like it's not like a given, but definitely, um, you know, in my own hands now at this point. Mario just slowed down there for some reason. Crossed in and that was horrible. How are we only 1-0 up? We're, like, we only beaten by one goal. So, obviously, I'm not very good at this game in terms of actually, like, doing the highlight moments and stuff. So, yeah, a 1-0 win, still three points. I don't care. <laughs> like, I wasn't going to play the whole match against this side. I know it would have been cool, but at the same time, you know, it just would have been a lot of dead air, I guess. Our fifth match is going to be against Juventus. This time we're at home. We beat them away from home 3-1. So I'm pretty confident we can do it again at our ground. Out to you and it's blocked. And we tackle the goalkeeper, but unfortunately it is a goal kick. Hostage is running for Juve into the box. It's cut out. Good defending. Go on. Counter-attack, maybe? Would love to do it. Here comes this guy that I can't pronounce. But he's going through. There is a chance. He's whipped it in. And that's going to be in. Yes. The goalkeeper tripped his own defender up, which could have saved the goal. 
But no, we scored the header and that is 1-0 to Benfica. Juve are pressing. And that was a great challenge. Fantastic challenge. Like, I thought it was going to be a penalty at first, but no. Look at this goal as well. You have to feel for Juve. That was such a poor attempt at a save. And it was almost cleared. It could have been. But it, it, the goalkeeper tripped him up. Here comes Juve. Into the middle. Get it. Oh, good save. Nobody picked Cuadrado up coming in there. Up to Florentino. Doesn't quite get the shot off. Might just be a 1-0 here. One minute to play. But here comes Di Maria. On his own. Out in the wing area. Maria on the ball. And that's going to be it. We've just beaten Juve only by one goal to nil. But we've beaten them twice in this group. And Benfica advanced to the knockout stages. That was a good group stage. Really, really good group stage. We have Chelsea to face next. And I'm fairly sure they beat their last opponents. Let's just double check and see if that is true. No, they drew against them. They drew against Austria. Klagenfurt. Oh, wow. So what does that mean for the group? Let's have a look. So Benfica, 13 points. Juve with seven. Chelsea with six. So in my next game, I could condemn Chelsea to the Europa League if I wanted to. And um, I'd like to do that. I would actually like to try and do that. So, I mean, is there much point playing it? We're already through. Let's just play the highlights again. I know it's a bit cheap playing the highlights, but I just want to get to the knockout stages. No, no crossing opportunity for me. Over the top. Oh, couldn't quite get it. Okay, we have another crossing opportunity. Chelsea are leading by one goal to nil. It's a bit sad that we can't see that goal. Sorry, guys. Didn't actually realise that that's what happens when you press this mode. And Koulibaly has... I stole the ball back. Oh, Chelsea won 4-0. It didn't even show any of the goals. Oh, that's bull. Lampard masterclass in the last game of the group stage. And we didn't even get to see any of the goals. I apologise for that. Maybe I should have just played the game. So this is your round of 16 to look forward to. We have Marseille. For our round of 16 match. You've got Napoli versus Porto. Borussia Dortmund versus Barcelona. Um, Sandefort versus Hoffenheim. And then you've got Juve versus Liverpool. Fortuna Sittard versus Milan. Uh, Real Madrid versus Werder Bremen. And Bayern Munich versus PSG. It's our round of 16 matchup. First leg away from home against Marseille. How will we fare against a team like Marseille? I hope we can do it. I hope we can get to the quarterfinals. I really am hoping for a stronger performance than losing 4-0 to Chelsea. Draw Mario to whip this one in. Header. And that's gone in. That was a hell of a header. And that's 1-0 to Benfica. It's Rafa again. He is literally scoring all the goals. That was a hell of a header. Really, really incredible leap. To get it into the back of the net there. And we're 1-0 up in this Champions League tie. Through ball. Here we go. We're doing well so far. We're pushing a lot. And this could be a goal. It is a goal. It's 2-0. That's two goals away from home. I know the away goals don't count anymore. And stuff like that. But to be 2-0 up in the first leg away from home is brilliant. Especially in a round of 16 tie. Tavares. Running through. That's oh, a good ball into the box. And they scored immediately. And that's Alexis Sanchez with the goal for Marseille to make it 2-1 now. So we've got a proper competitive game going on. Silver. This guy. The goal scorer from the second goal. Look how fast he is compared to some of these players. It's really insane. And off the post by Mario. Come on. Stop him. Oh, good save. They're letting, we're letting them creep back into the game a little bit with all these sort of chances and possession that they have. It's a little bit annoying. Go on. Through ball, yes. Ramos, that was such a good ball. We have to finish this game. We have to. Yes, a late winner. Well, a, not a winner, but you know what I mean. 3-1 and Benfica have done it away from home. Just sensational from Benfica here. 
I mean, it took us a while to get the third goal, but we needed that goal to give us a massive cushion going into the second leg. So in the first leg, it finishes 3-1 to Benfica. Now we travel back to Portugal, where hopefully Benfica can finish off this tie and go to the quarterfinals. Back in Benfica then for the second leg of this tie in the Champions League round of 16. Can we get the job done or will Marseille pull off an unthinkable comeback? Oh, that's a good ball. And they scored. Yeah, well, I was never going to close them down. And Marseille have scored to make it 1-0. It's Una. Is that how you say it? Una? Una? I don't actually know. I think it's Una. Keep going. We're running. Is there a chance? Through the legs. And it's saved and it bounces off of Mario for a goal kick. How unfortunate. How are we not defending against these guys? Like, we're so sloppy defensively. Marseille are really trying to get back into this game, as they should. Crossed in. Header. And that's gone in. Marseille have completed the comeback. Benfica sloppy defending. So bad defending on that corner. And that's a goal for Marseille. That's 3-3 free free on aggregate now. And um, Balerdi... Valedi has scored to make it 3-3 free free on aggregate. Go on through ball. That's a really good one. And we scored. With 15 minutes to play, it's 4-3 on aggregate. Despite us being 2-1 down on the night. And that's going to be it. We've beaten Marseille on aggregate for free. How about that? That's brilliant. We're into the quarterfinals. And we're so lucky that we were because... They started pulling the game back. It was pretty much one of those classic Champions League ties where the home team is on top on aggregate and then they start bottling it. But luckily I got that goal at the end. So these are your quarterfinal matchups then. We have Barcelona already in control against Hoffenheim. PSG versus Real Madrid and Real Madrid are leading. We have Porto in our next match. What a match that's going to be. Porto versus Benfica in a quarter final. That's going to be insane. And then we've got Juve versus Milan. A rivalry match in the Champions League quarter final between the two best Portuguese sides. Well, two of the best in Portugal. Imagine that in real life. That would be amazing. This is going to be such a difficult match, I think. Not only because Porto are a good side, but because the rivalry adds a little bit of pressure on to Benfica. It would be amazing if we can beat Porto here. And it's gone to you. And yes, we've taken an early lead already in the first three minutes. And it's that guy, I can't really pronounce his name, Orsens. Orsens has scored to make it 1-0. And it was just that little flick from, I think, Rafa to lay it off to him. And Benfica are in control early on in the tie. Look at this, this little flick. Flicked it into the middle and it was just so good, the little shot there. Fantastic. Pass back to Drow Mario. What? They have a Drow Mario as well? There's two Drow Marios on the field. What's all that about? Oh, hang on. And they scored. It's an equaliser. Porto have equalised and that is 1-1. One, one. Oh no, the poor defending from Benfica there. Oh, that's a good ball. Can we get it? Just over the bar from Porto. Their manager is angry. They actually have their actual manager. That's actually pretty cool. No, are oh, they scored? No, a late winner pretty much. And Porto are leading 2-1 over Benfica. How did they get that shot off? Drow Mario to whip it in. And that's not going to go to anybody. Otamendi has got it. And it's Mario. That was really poor control. I don't know what was going on there. But that control was horrendous. Okay. Another cross into the box. Headed away. That's going to be game over for this tie, I think. Yep. Unfortunately, we lost away from home. But, I mean, I guess that's okay. Well, it's not okay because I'm Benfica and I just lost against Porto. One of their biggest rivals. But, yeah, we should have played a little better. But when we conceded the first goal, 
it was just like we couldn't go forward. Second leg at Benfica, it is vital that we win this game. I hope we don't sort of concede any more goals and just outright lose the tie. It is possible to do that, but I really hope that doesn't happen. Go on. Into the box, it's cut out by Pepe. That's the thing. Like, Pepe is still really good defender, even at, like, the age that he is. I thought I'd absolutely, like, destroy him, but no, I haven't. Through ball, Ramos versus Pepe. And he shoots and it's blocked again. How many blocks are Porto going to get against us? Oh, Porto. They've scored. They have one chance. They score. We have four or five chances and we can't score. Yeah, there's no, there's no passion anymore. This side has given up. It feels like they've given up. They just don't really want to do anything to try and get back into this game. Here we go. Oh, it just takes too long. Pepe was dragging on my shirt as well. Just, oh my goodness. Couldn't quite get the sort of goal that we needed to change the way things were going. It's 3-1 at half time on aggregate. I don't think Benfica are going to do it. They're so gutless right now. They're not doing enough to get back in this game. Here comes Ben. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Every time, man. Every time. Oh, this is a shocking performance. Absolutely shocking. Shocking performance by Benfica. Shocking. 6-1 on aggregate. Embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. Get me out of this game. Get me out. I don't know how the game can just turn like this, you know? Like, one minute you're dominating, and then the next you'll go up against a team like Porto, and they'll just destroy you. Look, I'm trying to get people into the box, and they're not going into the box. It's almost like Benfica are like, yep, I've had enough now. Well, we scored there, but it's too little too late. Look at this. Like, where's my defence? Oh, my goodness. Yes. Oh, no, it's going to be seven. No, thank you. Yeah, all the fans are starting to leave the stadium. I wouldn't blame them. Losing against their biggest rivals like that, that is just embarrassing. Embarrassing end to a really good run. I know Porto are good. But seriously, dropping that performance against Porto, your biggest rivals? Jesus, Benfica. Like, I was trying to get them forward and they just wouldn't go forward. So, obviously, the game doesn't simulate to the end. But those are your other results. I really hope that you enjoyed this run with Benfica. It started off really strong. But then it collapsed against our biggest rivals, which kind of sucks. But if you did enjoy it, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always. And I'll see you again for the next video.